once Michael and the false dracon, Mika, began to spend time together, the mad dreamer saw something in the mind of the young fiend and wanted, wanted that desire, that endless wanting for improvement at any cost to continue his project. And so he used his terrible power to implant the dream corrupted by madness into Mika's mind before releasing him and returning him to his self. Hello and welcome, K-Knights and other children of the night. We are here once again with Mika Vikos in the Obertus Akamentoi, trying to survive the night, you know, trying to become better at what we are, what we do. Our twin here is starting to get old. Well, he's not aging, but he is starting to get old. Our child, of course, is doing well, I assume. Yes, yes, good for you. He doesn't hate us anymore. That's a wonderful thing. So let's just get going. We are still in the process of seducing the world's most beautiful Nosferatu. And we are, of course, hunting. Maybe this will be the time that we remember to click the check mark. Ah, oh, we have something in common, do we? I am happily soaking in the bathhouse, sharing deep reflections and salacious jokes with Duke Hedion Yarosovich. As I feel all the tension leave my body, I realize it's not just the warm water loosening my muscles. Ah, uh, I am genuinely having fun. So I, I like the fiend beyond fiends, you know? Let's become friends, sir. You and I, we have a lot in common. You know, on our secret insides, not on our obviously visible outsides. Those are not so common, you know? We have different backgrounds, different feelings. Would you like to join me in the circle dance? Ah, uh, what an evening to be had. So, we still need to start looking out to see if there's anybody that we want to expand through. Again, maybe in this, this direction... I do think that we are pretty much stronger than these guys. Which means we could make the attempt. In any other court, you came all this way for me, my rose. After searching the hallways of Adletta's castle, clad in servant's guard to avoid notice, I find Adletta in a secluded garden. She lights up as she sees me, and the sight of her lights me up in turn. The ratty shirt I had donned soon lies forgotten on the floor. Yes, I shall drink her blood, and she shall drink mine, and we will become lovers. Wonderful. Wonderful. I don't know why I thought there was any chance anything else could possibly come of this, though, obviously. No one can resist me. Let's see. Let's just take a quick look here. So none of these people are very, very choleric. The only person who has any chance to be choleric is her, so we will hunt from her. I will hunt from her and drink her blood. And we will remember to hit the check mark. What kind of blood does she actually have? Melancholic? Melancholic blood is fine. Of course, we're not going to put her in our herd, though, because that's... It's not, not really great. It's not really what we would do, you know? I have no good way to cover the masquerade at this time without really hurting my, uh, my stress. We're probably getting closer and closer to having a... The faction for the, the Inquisition still hasn't popped yet, but we have been sitting at, at three for a while. So I have to assume it's going to pop soon. Our stress is doing all right, though, which is nice on the hunt. So let's look at these people. And this person has one. So this is probably the most likely person. So I will hunt her blood. She is choleric. It's fleeting. Should I put her in anyway? Should I just drink her and keep looking? I think we're going to just drink her and keep looking. It's given us our... I think, oh, oh, who's this? She saw me violate the <laughs> the silence of the blood, so we shall eat her. 25% chance this helps us out. Or sorry, I say it gets restored to where it was before, which is not good. <sighs> That's bad. We're having a real hard time maintaining the masquerade. Um, just because of how much stress it causes us to do literally everything. We don't have nearly the prestige we need to learn thaumaturgy. We might be able to cover up the masquerade with money soon. Yeah, and we're going to have to. Which sucks because we have better uses for our money. Fingers crossed for two. No, just one. 
That's fine. One thing we do need to immediately do, though, this will be a bit of a stressor, is we need to... All right, now that we have Malleable Visage, I think the thing to do here is to uh, adjust our little friend here. Let's um, just be like, oh, I got something for you. Transmogrify him. Fine, you will obey me. You will obey me. We've, we've got him under our sway rather quickly. I am victorious. But of this, he is injured. I will make him look older or younger. So we're gonna... Our goal here is to, to age him down twice. We must stop the villain behind this. I will make him look younger again. That's enough. Which I'm hoping... Oh, uh, yeah, manipulate ghoul. So what I want to do with my ghoul is I want to heal my thrall. 5% chance we increase the masquerade, 50% chance we are famished. <sighs> We've had no luck with this so far, but that's fine. There, he's better now. Oh, he looks more like us than ever. Let's just quickly give him some clothes so he looks even more like us. We're not going to try to aim for exactly like us. You know, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take his... Uh, head hat away and we're gonna give him we have the ponytail and then we're gonna give him something like uh some kind of like byzantine shirt i think we're gonna give him that was a coronation cloak give him the cor coronation cloak you know our goal isn't to make him look exactly like us our goal is to make him reminiscent of us see what i'm saying see what i'm saying yeah yeah there you go, there's our first use of vicissitude right there. We just made the guy who looks just like us look just like us even more. Just like multiplying the just like us. No, we do not put people in prison for their for their schemes, that's not our way, but we do and we pardon them. They can cover up the masquerade with money. <sighs> Hopefully we get two. We get one. That's a little bit better though. And you know, over time we'll get more money. We definitely need more prestige, though. What is this? Finished increased control in county. Do we have any other increased control actions we need to do? We can help down here. Would we do that, though, or would we just take care of our own stuff? Switch to train commanders. I think that's better. More in line with what we do actually probably try to do. Let's also take some time to look in here at what we have going on. Under 10 still. We're not going down for some reason, are we? No. No, we just haven't got there yet. We'll get to 11 soon enough. Zero there from the... Wait, is that right? I thought that was one before. A monthly growth is zero. So we cannot put a level two there, if that makes sense. It might go up when we hit a 10, though, because we'll push some... We might be able to push some pressure on them once we get a 10. We still have one monthly growth here, so this could go up to three, which I cannot afford. And that's fine. Uh, my son has learned a language. Good job, my son. Hold court. Let's just do it right away. Oh, it's cost prestige, though. We can hope that it gives us prestige back. Fibonacci. It's Fibonacci, the mathematician. He's our guest. I remember you. I have a strange feeling about you. Once having been very different... You are now a paradox following Ravenos. I don't know why, but I have, a, I have a creepy death feeling about you. And I don't want to encourage you to stay in my court, but geez, we have a book inspiration from him. And you know he's going to write an amazing book. Costs us a lot of money. He'll probably leave before we get to it. Yeah, yeah. We probably won't get to it. We probably won't be able to make enough money before he, he moves on. But that's fine. It's cool that he showed up at all, really. Okay, one, and you have, of course, it's going to probably be, oh, you're melancholic. It didn't even turn out the way I thought it would. All right. Well, let's drink her up. Just keep looking. There's an intrigue perk. We're going to take divine retribution so that we no longer bother our, our fellows when we, uh, when we torture that's good. Just looking at what we want to do here, I think we're trying to hit... This is not the right place to look at this. 
I think we're trying to hit various things, right? Like here, we're trying to get to mesmerize for abduct schemes. That's definitely something we want to do because we want to start being able to like kidnap people. Uh, I would never ever believe that it mattered that you had another. I would think you having another would be perfectly reasonable. Our culture has gained battlements, which is good. I don't really have any influence over it right now, so there's no point in really even looking at it. We're back to being able to correct the masquerade a bit, but we still don't have the only resource we can use to do so at this point. Money. Okay. He is intense, Sanguine. Well, I mean, we're just gonna eat it, right? Just gonna eat it? Because we're not looking for Sanguine, we're, we're looking for, for Choleric. Grand Tour. Eventually doing a Grand Tour might help because we have such a tight realm with strong people in it that going on a Grand Tour could get us a bunch of money and be relatively inexpensive to boot, but uh, we may have a difficult time with that. On the hunt. The only one who has any real chance... Well, problem is this person is most assuredly going to be phlegmatic. I mean, since there's no ta sanguine target even here, I'm just going to hunt her because she's probably going to be phlegmatic. Somehow she was choleric. You know, you can't always pull, can't always predict it. I guess her greed just is more important to her. That or, or like, you know, the limited list I have is missing things. Like maybe there's things inside of uh, her education trait that's helping. Well, she is actually negligible. I mean, I can just look at the experience. Yeah, it, it seems like it's a little bit less. So maybe I'll take the next bleeding person. Let's just drink her. It's fine. We'll keep looking. We don't have to sat settle right away. Uh, so he comes bearing oaths and money and expects me to acknowledge them. Come in. So he has made a fool of himself. Uh, this is my child. While I would mock anyone else, I might not mock my child. That being said, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I mock my child? I think I would mock my child. <laughs> you know, he knows who he's dealing with, right? He's getting used to me, so... Ooh, a warrior was wounded in their training. Hopefully it was an immortal warrior. I probably should do this, even though I want to spend the money on that book. Probably should do this, though. Come on, we got to fix this. It, it's, it's a horrible, horrible money investment. But at least things feel like I can maybe let the next one go. Maybe I can let the next one go. Are you trying to kill my warrior? Please, I ask you. Respect my court. Don't kill my warrior. Oh, jeez. This is the first time after I changed his age and dressed him like me that I thought I was looking at myself. It's happened. I knew that it inevitably would. I knew that this would be the consequence of making another character look as much like me as is physically possible. Um, I, I'm still not concerned about him, you know, doing the things he feels like he needs to do. I've been con corresponding with your Chancellor, Dilek, and... Oh, freaking hell. We're friends, okay? Please forgive him. Let it pass, please. Just, just this one time. Just this one time? Okay, maybe her... I'm gonna pick her. She is... Negligible Choleric. We'll eat her. Hopefully we find somebody better soon. A little bit. Oh, a new Melancholy perk. Nice. Unseen Passage. Very nice. So we're doing pretty well with our Obfuscate, to be fair. Mostly because there's a bunch of... A bunch of that in our herd. Now, let's look at what our situation is with our people here. Of course, we have married her to her grandfather, which uh, I did not realize at the time, but is an excellent choice, I would say. It's about right, you know? It's about right. Um, so he is fine. We don't really have anything to do to improve him. We have little, little or nothing related to him we can do. We have her. I don't think I have anyone better. Nope. I mean, it could be worse. Our diplomat isn't that bad. I don't know why she keeps continuously screwing up. She probably also should be landed eventually. She's a warrior. My husband is... Her husband is my executioner. 
My sire is still out here doing his thing, you know. Helping me out, kinda, and my child. So there's nothing really in here that I want to do anything about. They're all vampires. None of them are embrace candidates. Do I have any embrace candidates? I don't know. You know, I have two secrets, right? I have two secrets. I have four secrets. That's only a one in four chance that he told someone I'm a Diablerist. I don't know why I'd be even writing letters about that, by the way. I, I can't imagine why I would ever think it was a good idea to write letters about being a Diablerist. But, you know. Right? You know. It's just how it goes sometimes. Okay, if anyone her. I'm gonna keep her. Him, I picked the wrong person. What? It's phlegmatic. Ah, I picked the wrong person. It's because you click on the talk to see their screen at the bottom to check them and I just keep making that mistake. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's just eat him then. Okay, back to 100. I'm not going to rush. Uh, maybe I should, though gonna get daunt it's really the only thing we can pick up in sanguine right now maybe i should actually rush to uh to just fill this in fully maybe that would be a good idea who has something you are we done we're effectively done like all the places i actually care about are done so you can you can just do religious relations for now bohemia what is that oh house of tremere is basically taking bohemia what's well, happened Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe that was a bad alliance for us. They're, like, eating everyone around us up. That being said, I don't really intend to grow too much. Not now, at least. Like, in the future, we got things down here we probably want to do. But right now... Right now, I'm not so sure. If I attacked this guy... I have no claims on him whatsoever. I think we could do a holy war or something on him, but nope, not at all. I could begin to try to... Uh, oh, you know, there's another thing we can always do. We can always buy a claim. Taking the whole duchy is just way too experience. expensive. I think we're gonna let this go for a bit. We're not we're not gonna rush it out, but we will. You're never gonna like us. You already like us and you already like us, so I guess he's my problem, right? Should I be keeping him though? Should I not should I be getting rid of him? Like should I revoke his title? It's a 30 tyranny. And a cause of war, which will probably cause a rebellion, which I don't really want to deal with right now. You know, so let's continue with the cycle. Let's hunt. New flame. Over the years, I have received a great deal of portraits now. I don't, I don't, I don't need that. I, I can find lovers of my own. I have come to discover a most appalling truth about Count Ali. Though I loathe to bring this matter to your attention, I must inform you that the man is keeping secrets of the most alarming kind from you. I mean, I don't think I would not do this. He's a lover? How's that an alarming secret? You made the man who already hates me hate me more over the fact that he has a lover? Uh, doing this would just help him out. <laughs> Revealing his secret would just help him out. Uh, I can demand his conversion. He won't do it. He won't do it. And that's really about all I can do with him right now, so there's that. Thing is, I do kind of want to do this. So my question ends up being, is it worth it? Probably. I mean, he's a Feores, which means one of these, these traditionalists around him will eventually take everything from him if they can. None of these is really looking good. 
I'm generally looking for just like straight up bad people. Uh, this guy, maybe. This guy. I will hunt him and drink his blood. What does he have? Oh, he has a cute choleric. That's exactly what I've been looking for. So we'll take a bit of blood from him and put him into our herd. Good, nice, finally. Finally we got somebody in our herd to fill that spot. To show her in at once. Oh, she's brought money too, thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate your generate generous gifts. Now, let's look over at my lovers. Okay, looking at you, uh, would you consider changing religion for me? Just, you know, we can have so much more fun if you, uh, if you accept sin. You know what I'm saying? If you accept sin? Yeah, that's nice. I think I'm gonna learn her language, which is weird. So let's learn her language. Let's start there. I'm not gonna spend my money immediately on uncovering up the masquerade, because I don't think that's the right choice right now. I could increase this, which would help with my money concerns, but there's so many other things I could do as well. Right, this place here... Has, in fact, gained one more monthly growth. I don't want to put my prestige down too much, but also... Like, looking for things that will start to raise my prestige. This makes sense, right? Open rule makes sense. We would do that. And it does give us prestige. Not for now, though. For now, I think we're going to just continue to get ourselves... This ends up at a total of 3 and 1.1 gold per month, and some natural dread. I, this seems like a weird decision, like, it seems like it's, it's like there's a lot of decision paralysis in this, but there isn't. It's just that this is so right, <laughs> this is so right that I should just do it. So we're gonna... We're gonna do open rule. Makes us a little bit more vulnerable to schemes, but it still makes a lot of sense that we would do it. I don't think we we would. We're not big on the masquerade, right? You. 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 And you, I guess I hunt from either this guy. Well, not you, no. From this person. I think we're going to hunt from, from you. So I will hunt you your blood thank you so we now have firm rule there we go to this what is the second level of this 0. 0.5 uh it might be best to just push this right up to the top right away oppressive rule and then tyrannical rule so if i can get like Point three prestige per month is a lot. But I don't think so. Not for now. For now, we're gonna get this, I think. That takes my goal of raising my prestige backwards, but that's fine. Getting this up to three is good. This place will hit, at that point, zero, which I'm fine with. Like, I'm perfectly fine with. We probably will also raise this one to two. I think it can take one more, just because the money is very useful to us. So let's do that. Yes, that blows all of the prestige that we've been sort of sitting on, but I think that's probably a good decision. At this point, I think we do do the... Oh, what is this event? A pallid individual who looks as if she spent her entire life skulking underground is lurking in the corner of my throne room. She wants to build some kind of tunnel. Oh, of all the things I could do... Alluring confidence. <sighs> My heart beats for the alluring confidence, but part of me says that uh, looking out for my own safety, especially consider I've started open rule, is probably for the best. You know? You could use five years of, uh, of increased safety. So that's what we're going to do <laughs> on the hunt. Okay, no, oh yeah, maybe you, so we will hunt from you. Oh, Sanguine, that's okay. Whatever we get is good at this point, now that we've kind of 
improved our herd a bit. We could do more, but I think we'll wait. We're eventually going to have Auspex, and we can do a full, like, like force. I want to make sure that neither of these is declining. I don't care if they're zeros, but I don't want them to decline. I have no intention of them declining. Just being zero. Yeah, that's great. And we can focus all of our gains on the place where we live. Now, looking at what else we can get here, we're not looking for money here, although this is good. Takes a lot of prestige away, though, which is the exact opposite of what we want. This is 25% prestige, plus 2.5 pr prestige. It's another way to get prestige. It's also control growth. Uh, influence of the lawgivers. Influencing the noble gives us extra for units that we're never going to build. Spearman units, units we're never going to build. Units we're never going to build. Levies. Haven defenses are a good idea when we can afford them. Like either of these. The remote haven is cheaper. I think we're going to hit Remote Haven as soon as we can. I would like to build the Undying Party, though. Like, this really feels aligned with us. But, uh, I think we're going to focus on our own safety. Now that we're openly ruling, the next step is to focus on our own safety. So, we'll do that. Then, then we can start a party that never ends. Continue to do the, our open rule, continue to do our blood tax. Our blood has thickened to blood potency 6. Ooh, nice. Makes sense, considering our age and our generation. It's nice to see ourselves growing stronger, though. You know? But let's just look into here. Do I have any courtiers, like anybody that I have a problem with that I might just imprison? Okay, so this is an act of tyranny. Everybody will hate me for it. I wish I could just do it without the tyranny, but, you know, that's the thing. Tyranny heals, right? Not right now. Not right now. But since we have some money hanging around right now, we could do this. Start just working on his territory. Fabricate, wait, we want to fabricate the claim on the one that's on our border, right? Yeah, so that makes more sense. Good. You know, I'm going to start randomizing these now that I feel more comfortable that my, um, that, that my vicissitude will go up at least. She is negligible phlegmatic. Let us eat her. Nice. Phlegmatic-wise, we now get Cloud Memory. We're going to Mesmerize and then switching to Auspex. That's the plan. We want to get Abduct. We want to get it this way so that we don't have to reach out into the portion of, uh, of Intrigue that we're not interested in. We got so many Intrigue traits to get with all the seduction and everything that we just don't, just don't want to. <laughs> Another Choleric trait, so tra transmogrify, transmogrify the Mortal Clay. This is mostly good because it allows our ghouls to become very tough. We're not going to be chasing any more mutations on, like, we're not going to be adjusting anybody yet. Because I don't think we, I think we want to wait till we get all three of the base ones, and then we'll look at taking some of our warriors, making them better. We have fabricated the claim. Oh, yes, first try. What a life this is. Now, this is a turnaround in, uh, in our situation, because this is, uh, this is, this is really good. First try, whole thing. That's what we were hoping for. We wanted the whole thing. Now, we can declare war on him for my claim for the whole duchy. Oh, what happens if we declare war? What's the negative about this? Oh, we can't, we can't pay for it right now. That's fine. 
He has one ally, this guy. Who is this guy? This guy is way in England. That's probably not even going to be relevant. So without this guy helping, he is significantly less strong than us, even if we don't bring in our allies. But we will probably bring in Old Man Blood Horror, just because it feels, it feels fun, you know? He's our buddy now, so it makes sense that we'd be like, hey, we're going to be messing with some... Some some rebels, some Bruja rebel, hit some Feores. Uh, he doesn't belong here anyway, right? I mean, he literally does, but not to us. And, and we'd like to take everything from him. Could you help us, my bloody friend? And he'll say yes. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure he'll say yes. All right, let's randomize. Her. All right. And she will give us some more choleric. Wow, we're, we're getting all the choleric lately. We're getting no choleric for a while, and now we're suddenly getting all of it. That's, um, actually quite nice. Schemer discovered. Plotting against somebody. Would you stop, please? I'd love it if you'd stop. And we have learned... Polish, which... I mean, since we literally live in Poland, is probably worthwhile. I feel accomplished. What other kinds of languages can we learn, being that we are a scholar? Uh, we could try to learn uh, Count Ali's language, even though he hates us and it will never change anything. But Arabic is a great language for somebody who wants to be a scholar. Obviously, we naturally know Greek. We have begun the process of transferring these to Greek, but uh, it needs to continue. I'm still not getting over it. Every time I see him looking at me like this, I think it's me. I literally think it's me every time. He would never disrespect, disrespect me thusly because this is not a respect, disrespectful dust. Oh, I don't like this guy's face. I will take it all, killing him. Wow, we're getting so much choleric. Now that we're not looking for it, it's like every single person is choleric now that we're not looking. It's kind of wild, really. Uh, what is this? Hold court. Well, you know, we could end this episode on a hold court. Something wrong with that. But I'd rather end the episode on the war. You know? <laughs> you, you, you hear my words? <laughs> so let's do it. Let's let's do it. Let's let's slow ourselves down so we can manage this stuff. Wait, did that did we did we oh we didn't we did that thing. That endless thing that I feel like shouldn't be possible, where we didn't... What happened? Fine! <laughs> well, wait a few months more then. <laughs> Hybrid culture is formed. Nothing to do with us at all. Eventually, we do want to kind of do this stuff, but the thing about the House Tremere is they're so strong. Well, the Voivate's getting strong, too. If these guys ever decide to actually contest with each other... Something might happen. One of the things that's interesting is that in a lot of the games I've played in, the House Tremere have trouble. They start to diminish, but they're not diminishing at all this game. They're getting real strong. So it's not really that much longer. A couple more months. One of our herd members has died, which means we're now searching for a new herd, which we can do as part of our hunting process. We don't need to worry about going out of our way to do that. What did she die of, though? Feels weird to me. So let's see, let's look at my herd. Right, let's look at my herd. Oh, we're not doing the war right now, so we can be at least on four. So you... It feels weird that you don't have a spouse. Did your spouse die? Because if your spouse died, that and you did it, that really bothers me. Um, Did I not... I didn't... Oh, I didn't ghoul either of you. I was just hoping you would make babies, didn't I? Is that actually what's going on here? No, you never had a spouse. What about... Huh, I'm really confused. That was confusing too. Um, so let's look at our... Ghouls. We have three ghouls. These two are married. Yeah, that's, on, that, that's what we want. We were hoping they would eventually have children, but they haven't yet. Hopefully they figure that out eventually. Fine, so if we look... At our herd, then. Manipulate herd. Someone just died. Someone just got old and died. It's fine. I don't really have to worry about that. 
Could be worthwhile, though, to hurtify another revenant. Do I ha I have revenants, right? If we look up here, I have you and your daughter. I could hurtify you just because you won't die. I think that's actually, generally speaking, a good plot. Yeah, of course we will. Hopefully he doesn't. I mean, I don't... Okay, that, well, I mean, whatever happens, happens. We'll, we'll fight him for it if we have to. 268. You know, actually, I think we're going to end this episode on the court. The whole court, because we're going to save the war for next episode. I've already been at this for 53 minutes, and I don't want to run another... 10 minutes and, and then a war. That's too much for one episode. So here we go. Oh, the nude guys in our court. It's always wonderful. Here, partitioners. Sitting at my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. Gesture for the first in line to approach. My lord, I represent the religious community of Legentia. We are rummaging through our modest archive. Oh, you found a book. Let me look at it right now. So I either get one point or two. Prestige either way. Very nice. Ha. Very nice. Basically, we made up for what we spent. My vassal, Count Ali, hurries to my side, bloodshot eyes searching the assembled court. My lord, I am sure someone in the kingdom is out to get me. I have no evidence, but I suspect pack member Nunya. Um, Madrin, who wishes... To end a personal rivalry by murder. I beg you, in prison? No. No? No. No. A peasant man from the Count of Schwabas is brought before me, and no matter what the guards do, he will not stop dancing, trailing blood from mangled feet. Ah, oh, the dancing plague. I could pray, I tell them to pray for sin, to basically, you know, go pray to Satan, and he'll help you out. That's all I can really say about this, it's just how I feel. War, I mean, it's not Satan, it's sin, it's... The, the concept of sin that they use is kind of Christian, but it's still not, it's, it's the actions, it's not the dude, right? We can only fight dancing with more dancing. <laughs> Send your court musician to play for the afflicted. Oh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you know the funny thing about this is? This is just straight bad. But it is also very right. Okay, so the dancing plague is everything from that except no benefit. This version, I get the stress down. This version is the negativity, but with the benefit. Oh. The problem with this. Yeah, oh, there is no problem with this. Oh, we can only fight dancing with more dancing. Make them dance, court musician. Make them dance. Who is my court musician? Oh, it's you. It's you, old man. Get your wife pregnant, goddammit! He only gave you that job so you wouldn't run off! <sighs> I know I'm waiting for a war, but I'm wondering if I should, uh... Not even something I control directly, is it? No, it's this. I'm wondering if maybe I should increase my open rule. You know, I think we will. I think we will increase the, increase the open rule. And then we will end this episode there. As we become more and more of a tyrannical leader over the people of our region, revealing our vampiric nature and forcing them to pay for their safety with their very blood. <sighs> soon enough, soon enough, this is going to hit... 11, and when this hits 11, we are going to immediately build it up to a city. Which gives us a lot of benefits. More prestige. No, not more prestige, actually. It's the same amount of prestige. More renown, though. 
mostly it gives us more money and more holding taxes so more money more money which I could get behind I could use the more money I mean I'm making good money compared to a usual POD start anyway but more is more right more is more and with that extremely greedy 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 concept we're going to put this episode to an end with Mika Vikos, the first scholar of the Obertus Akamentoi. Wait, that's the wrong guy. Goodbye for now. <laughs>